I think if you're a musician, you have to be a little bit crazy. And it's a fine line between crazy and the thing that pushes you over the edge and makes everything work. Learning to Let Go is the first song off my EP, and actually also the title of the EP. I chose it because it really summed up where I was when we started this process. Just like the acceptance of now, and being okay with it, and actually being happy about it. I'm learning to let go. I grew up in LA from day one. I knew I wanted to be a musician. My grandmother had this spot and it was a music venue on Melrose. So I sort of grew up in the back office of this music venue and there wasn't really anyone always watching me and I'd sneak out and peek my head through and see, you know, the Chili Peppers on stage or whoever was on that night. But even when the door was closed and I was in that back office, I just remember always listening to the music and and feeling really connected to it and at home. Parachutes. I had this image of that scene from Mary Poppins where they're in cartoony land. It's sort of silly, but images really help the making of that. The song is about being someone who falls in love fast. That feeling when you're like, I know, I'm probably walking off a cliff, right? I shouldn't do this, right? But like, let's go. Thank you. Since I've been writing so much and working with so many people and the EPs rapping, it's sort of all popping off right now. And this year, it's been really awesome to see how that's sort of taken a life of its own. What I've learned through the whole process is that I know what I'm doing now. And so I'm excited to get back, playing these songs live. Sort of something holding me accountable for the work you're doing. Searchlight, I had this image in my head of when someone is, their boat is sinking and they're in the middle of the ocean and a search party in a helicopter is looking for them and they find them and the relief that you feel when that searchlight finds you, like, yes, I'm gonna be saved. And I was with someone who was sort of like my cheerleader, kept going like, come on, I'm like, buck up. I grew up on a lot of jazz. I really love when you hear songs that are sort of like a mix of old soul, and you're not quite sure if it's a new or an old recording. A lot of my influences are like Amy Winehouse, Stevie Wonder, Ella Fitzgerald, a lot of Alicia Keys, a lot of Crim Bailey Ray. For me, I was trying to really take the best pieces of all those artists and then to put that into my music. I'm just so excited that the EP is finished. I think the music business today has brought music really to like the purest form that it has been in a long time. What's had to happen as a result of that is that a lot of those musicians who in the past might have gotten a crazy awesome record deal are just like doing it on their own. And for me, somebody wasn't funding the whole thing. I just got all my friends together who happen to be awesome musicians and I called them all up and I was like, hey, you know, I need a favor. Can you come in and we're going to start at midnight because that's when the studio closes and hopefully no one will know. And so you get a bunch of like-minded, great people at what they do and there's no limit to what you can, what you can make happen. <laughs> 